Hello everybody and welcome to your weekly tarot messages for December 21st through 27th, 2020. This week we have the sun moving into Capricorn on the 21st. We have the winter solstice and we have Saturn and Jupiter conjunct. So it's a week of really good energy and I'm excited to say this is the very first reading I am doing in my brand new home, um, 2,000 miles away from my original home. Uh, I do apologize that I did not upload for a week. I, I just had a lot going on. So I will do a reading for each and every sign. I will start with Capricorn. Since we are in Capricorn season, there will be timestamps for everybody else listed down below. Hello Capricorn, how are you guys? Happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there. I hope you guys have magical birthdays this week. So let's see what's going on, main energies, what's in store for you guys. Oh, we've got some new moon energy with a new perspective. So this week, Capricorn, the way events unfold, the conversations you have, what just happens to you, what you experience, there's going to come about a bit of an illumination, a bit of an epiphany about you, your life, a situation, a relationship, your next move forward, you know, general reading. So it's different for all of you. But this week, you are finally going to receive an answer and it comes through a shift in your mental body, in your perception about yourself, a situation, a relationship, etc. So let's pull some tarot and see what else is coming through about this new perspective, this answer, this idea. Idea that finally arrives for you guys. All right, so we've got temperance. So this new perspective, this new idea, this answer, it really does bring balance within. You're not going to be worried or as concerned as you have been leading up to this week. Okay, so definitely some clarity within it makes everything feel good and you're gonna no longer be in this defensive stance or if you've needed to defend yourself in any capacity like you're gonna find the solution you're gonna see the answer you're gonna see the way through this week and lastly we have the king of wands so we have some fire energy that could represent a fire sign aries leo sagittarius um but this week, Capricorn, this uh, answer, if those of you who are receiving an answer, it's coming from this King of Wands. And this could be male or female. It does not have to be fire energy. But this is where like communication is coming to you really, really fast. And in the past, we've been a bit defensive because there's been uncertainty or um, lack of clarity, lack of understanding, lack of direction, not knowing what's coming next. And this week, finally, you get that answer or events in your life just shift in such a way that the path is made for you or the answer becomes very clear and you no longer feel like you need to defend yourself okay and in any situation where you're feeling like you are the underdog or have the lower hands you're actually going to come out on top okay because the seven of wands is there is a lot of energy coming at you but you're at a higher vantage point than whatever is trying to attack you or come towards you okay you're at a higher vantage point and maybe in the past you didn't realize that but this week you're really going to come into that understanding okay so the waters are balancing out this week capricorn some of you there is a person that's coming in to offer the solution the answer the clarity um, or really having your back defending you and really helping you out or the way events unfold this week, it's going to turn in your favor. And again, you have this higher vantage point. You're on higher ground and there's going to be balance within and you're not going to worry. Like you finally get your solution and you're like, ha, ah, okay, I can relax. I feel all right about things. Okay. So those are your messages for this week at Capricorn. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.
Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Let's see what this week has in store for all the Aquarius out there. Show us Aquarius. I didn't screw up the camera. I'm on a different kind of setup than normal. I'm waiting for my desk to arrive still. All right, Aquarius, nice. You've got some full moon energy with manifestation. So this week, something happening for you, Aquarius, something that you have drawn to yourself through your energy, through your action, through your word, through your desire, your thought, and your emotion, all right? So really um, have all your senses open this week and see what is happening, what's unfolding for you. Because, you know, in readings, when we see manifestation, we always think, you know, these big magical things. And sometimes that is absolutely the case. But other times, this is a, a more subtle energy. This is letting you know that something is going to go your way this week, that something's just going to work out perfect. It's going to work out right for you. All right. Um, and this could be something big or small. And I'll tell you, for seven years, Aquarius, I've been trying to manifest myself a gold bottled champagne okay I saw it in a music video seven years ago when I was newer to the law of attraction and I was like you know what I want to try to manifest that like let's see if I can make that happen and for seven years never have seen one anywhere um, in person and then I was at the Las Vegas airport um, through my you know, moving here and um, picking up my daughter. And there was this little wine and spirits store and this gold bottle caught my eye and I did not have my glasses on Aquarius. And I asked my other daughter, I'm like, is that a gold bottle? And I walked in and sure enough, it was a gold bottle of champagne. And I had to buy it because I was like, oh, I've searched forever for this and then boom there it was so it could be something like that Aquarius where it's just something you've been wanting something small and then boom one day there it is spirit just aligns you to it and it feels magical um, or it could be something bigger than that okay you all are desiring and reaching for different things and this week Something is manifesting for you. Something's unfolding for you. And it's energy that you have called to yourself. Because um, I was not going to share my gold bottled champagne um, with anybody. Just that I found it. You know, it's something personal between spirit and I. But uh, the only reason why is it was, you know, when you're learning the law of attraction, they say pick something and really focus on it. And eventually it will come to you. And after seven years, I was like, well. Well, maybe you know but then there it was Aquarius there it was so never give up never give up oh goodness I keep hitting that with my elbow I'm so sorry oh look at that yeah king of pentacles manifesting six of cups something from the past that you've really been wanting Aquarius and lastly, Knight of Cups, some of you, this is a friend, um, this is a romance that you want. Maybe some of you have been trying to manifest a brand new person into your world, okay? You all are desiring different types of connections and you've been working on this for a while. Maybe even like working on changing yourself in this week, Aquarius, there is this new energy coming into your life, some of you, okay? This could be a friend or this could be a romantic connection and it's very sweet and your own energy has pulled this person towards you and their energy um, has pulled you towards them okay some of you this could be somebody from your past okay um, a past romance a past friend a past boss a past co-worker okay and this person's coming back into your life this week because they have something to offer you and it's something that you want with this manifestation okay so some of you this is a person of past or new connection it's a general read so you are all reaching for other things okay 
And um, with the King of Pentacles, with this manifestation, it doesn't have to be about a connection, a relationship. This is something that within your emotional body, you have truly called to yourself this week and it's time for it to manifest. The energy is full grown and it's coming into your world this week, Aquarius, and sharing um, the champagne story with you guys. I feel like all these cups going on, you're gonna have a lot to celebrate um, over this next week, okay? So those are your messages, Aquarius. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Pisces. How are you guys? Let's see what this week has in store for all the Pisces. <clears throat> okay, Pisces, we have a last quarter moon energy coming in with soul searching. So this week for Pisces is a bit of a quieter energy as you, um, you know, enter the winter solstice and that Saturn Jupiter conjunction, you are going within because this last quarter moon energy means you're starting to wrap something up and you're going to be starting something new. And this could be spiritual. This could be job. This could be relationship. This could be personal changes. All right. Different for all of you. But this week, you're really going within and you're contemplating, you're evaluating. And on the other side of this, you're going to have a whole new perspective about yourself, a relationship, um, your lot in life, where you're headed next. But you're going within and you're finding the answers. Finally, Pisces. That's what I feel. It's like... Um, what you discover this week is has evaded you for quite some time and maybe has made you sad, um, left you just kind of feeling a bit disconnected, unsure. You are coming out of that, all right? This week is <clears throat> time for the answers to come forth, the understanding to burst forth from your soul, which sets you free, Pisces. Yeah, look at seven of pentacles, just like two steps forward, one step back, or three steps forward, two steps back. Um, no matter your efforts, it's like I can't move, I can't understand, I can't find clarity, I'm just kind of eh. So the seven of pentacles, you know, is attached to what we're soul searching about. And now we have the king of wands. So this is, you know, the answer is going to come from your soul but also some of you this may have to do with a <clears throat> very fiery person okay they could be a fire sign but this is just somebody who is high energy could be a fast talker could be a smooth talker um, could be a bit dominating and a bit pushy and now we have the seven of wands so yeah you've been feeling um, just very confused Pisces and defensive, protective of yourself about different things. And you got the two sevens going on and sevens are about growth. So this week, this soul searching is going to bring forth the growth that you need where we've been stunted and held back. Okay. And with two wands, that is so much soul energy, you know, coming into new ideas, illumination, epiphanies about things. Um, some of you, this has a lot to do with a very specific person where you've just been stumped, unsure, or you haven't felt that you've had the mental, emotional, or spiritual energy to step up and like speak your truth or make a big move forward, um, say what you have to say, maybe put somebody in their place, or maybe cut somebody out of your life. You've just been really unsure, Pisces. <clears throat> and like no matter what you do, it's like that's just not the way or the timing's not right. Like something's just blocking, 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 okay? And this could be about a person, very strongly about a person. Um, and if it's not about a person, 
It could be about like, you know, your next move, your money, your job, things like that. And you just feel blocked <clears throat> and very defensive about it. And maybe even a little frustrated with spirit. Like, what's going on? Why can't I figure this out? Or why can't I break through this? Like, I'm doing everything. I'm giving my all here. And the answer, the solution, the opening door, um, the clarity, it totally evades me. And Spirit's saying this week, you're going to find yourself more in hermit mode and really doing a lot of reevaluation. And the answer is just going to come to you, Pisces. Or, um, you know, through this evaluation, later in the week you um definitely later in the week with the two sevens here like maybe towards saturday or sunday you're gonna have a conversation with this person and you're finally gonna have that strength to say what you've got to say or to finally have this conversation all together with somebody all right pisces so this week it's all about going within because the answers will finally come and you're not going to be stuck and restricted anymore. You're completing this. So the 28th um, into the new year is going to be a much different energy for you where it's like you're no longer going to feel stuck, restricted, or held back, okay? So those are your messages, Pisces. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello Aries, how are you guys? Let's see what is going on for all the Aries this week. Alright, so we've got the waxing moon energy and support. So this is a good card for Aries, it means this week there is support coming to you somehow some way this could be a person you know coming in this could be the universe just aligning certain things for you this week where everything is going to work out just fine spirit is saying do not worry aries the support that you need is going to come in if it's in the workplace if it's in the home if it's just in your personal life you all need different type of support this week and spirit doesn't want you to worry or maybe um you're starting something new and um you're like okay right now i can handle this but i can't see that far ahead of me you know am i going to be able to keep at this am i going to be able to keep going and spirit says yes keep moving forward everything you need is going to come to you at the perfect time along this journey don't hold back don't be afraid don't give in to fear keep pushing forward this week aries because things are going to align for you let's pull some tarot and go a bit deeper Yeah, things are going to be okay, Aries. You're going to get the support that you need, whether it's family, it's money, it's in the workplace, it's your personal life. Support is coming in for you. And like what you need is going to show up exactly when you need it. Yeah, because look at you've got justice as well. So there are favors owed to you from the universe and they're coming in. Oh, nice, look at this. We've got the King of Swords too. All right, so any sort of um, like battle you're in about like money, um, receiving money from like a job, an inheritance or anything, cause you got justice and the King of Swords and that could be like, you know, a judge and a lawyer talking about a settlement of some kind. Um, if there's anything going on in your life where you feel there was an injustice to you and you're like, you know, should I reach out to a lawyer? This would be spirit saying, yes, reach out to somebody who knows more about these things. Don't listen to, you know, people, um, friends, family that aren't um, knowledgeable or educated in like the legal field, if that's what this is about, like seek professional help and you're going to find the right person this week that will really help you out and get you what you deserve. However, this may resonate. Okay. 
I mean, this could be like we're divorcing, um, we're fighting over an inheritance, over property, um, unemployment, um, money owed to you from a company, you know, anything like that where it involves money um, or assets. This is a week uh, where things really come through for you, like things are decided in your favor um, or it's time to seek uh, support from some sort of legal counsel or somebody who's very knowledgeable, okay, in whatever this is. And for other Aries out there where this has nothing to do with any sort of battle or struggle over, you know, assets or money, this is truly this week what do you need? The universe is going to deliver it. And now some of you could say, I need $100,000. All right. I don't know about that. Okay. I'm just saying that, you know, what you need this week is really going to come to you and the support that you need financially, energetically through people all coming to Aries this week. You are very blessed. You are owed some, uh, good juju from the universe from past energy and efforts okay and those of you that have been really working hard towards something don't give up whatsoever spirit is saying there is going to be what you need at the right time along your journey you just have to keep moving forward and anything you're confused about you know seek out somebody who is very knowledgeable or experienced and whatever it is um that you have going on right here they will help you they will give you the answers that you need um the solutions so that you know how to move forward with much more ease okay so very positive for aries this week however this plays out don't be afraid trust um, reach out for help in the area that you need it and you will find it like um the universe just aligning everything for you this week okay so those are your messages, Aries. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. <clears throat> Hello, Taurus. How are you? Let's see what the week has in store for all of you guys. We've got the Aquarius moon energy with illumination. So the conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius is a powerful moment for Taurus. It's going to illuminate you or illuminate some area in your life that has been hidden in shadow, which, you know, is going to bring forth a breakthrough. It's going to bring forth an answer, major clarity. And, you know, going through all the readings so far, this does seem to be a week of clarity, solutions, answers coming in. And for you guys, very, very strong, um, a bit more powerful than the other reads because this is Aquarius energy and it's illumination and you Jupiter and Saturn both just moved into Aquarius and they're conjunct. So what's been confusing you? Um, what's evaded you? What has seemed really foggy or unclear or uncertain, Taurus? Because the answer is coming forth this week. Let's pull some tarot and go a bit deeper. Queen of Swords, yeah, look at that major illumination. This could come from another person. This could come from like information, like um, yeah, it what's ever been in the shadow, okay, and that's gonna resonate different for each of you, Taurus. But what has been in the shadow is now coming to light, which brings forth major aha for you. Nice Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're going to have a breakthrough this week, Taurus. Um, those of you that this reading is going to resonate and fit, I wish every Taurus out there um, this reading was 100% for them because this is such a beautiful set of cards. 
what has held you back is no longer going to hold you back. You know the answer. You're going to know what you have to do and it's going to bring a lot of happiness, success, independence, abundance, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about life. Um, and this, again, it's not like this is something handed to you. Uh, this is either like a conversation that you have with somebody and what's been in your, your blind spot, you know, that shadow energy, you're going to see it. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what I need to do. And it's an instant fix and, and brings so much happiness and like um, energy flowing like ever so quick. And then others of you towards this kind of a side message that just came through. Some of you, I feel it are completing like some sort of course this week. So that make um, learning, um, furthering your education or adding a new skill. And maybe you've been questioning, like, has this been worth it? Is it worth it, the money that it's cost me? And this is Spirit saying, yes, it's going to be very much worth it. All the hard work that you put in, growing and learning and expanding the mental body is going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. So those of you that, you know, are in that process or you're considering starting that process, don't hold back because you're afraid that it will cost too much or that it won't be beneficial. This is saying absolutely expanding um, your intellect, uh, your knowledge, your education, your skill set will bring forth a lot of extra income for those of you who have been really considering that. Okay. Um, now back to the main message coming through. Um, you're going to have a conversation, somebody gives you the solution, okay, or uh, finally just within yourself the answer breaks through, breaks free, that aha moment and you know what to do, you know your path forward, the energy is flowing this week Taurus, it's feeling good, your hard work is paying off and you're going to know that you've been making the right decisions and choices up to this point if you've been questioning yourself and anything that was in the shadow is now coming to light so that it doesn't hinder you or hold you back any longer. So a powerful, wonderful week for Taurus. For those of you that this will resonate, congratulations to you. Enjoy this energy. You have worked for it. You deserve it 100%. So those are your messages, Taurus. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Gemini. How are you guys? See what the week has in store for all the Geminis. Okay, so we have waning moon energy with unfruitful harvest. So you guys start this week. For those of you, this will resonate where I'll oh, look at what's on the bottom is closing door. Okay. So I do feel we're going to pull that out because I feel like that, um, you know, is part of this reading. You guys start the week out um, from coming off of like a loss of some kind, a closing door. So whatever this is, it happened before you enter this week. Okay. And you would, um, you know, really hoped this was going to pan out, that this would work out. You know, it could be a job. It could be a living situation. It could be a you know, just total miscellaneous situation. It could be a relationship with somebody, coworker, friend, romance, family. Um, you know, it's different for all of you, but this is a situation where you had high hopes for a certain outcome and that's not what happened. It was like the opposite of that. And it may have left you a bit confused or um, maybe some of you really helped somebody out and you just kind of had like these reservations like I know I'm going to get burned, I know I'm going to get burned, but I'm going to do this, I'm going to be a good person and then it turned out you got burned and so you're a little frustrated, you're a little mad, some of you are a bit sad, a bit down coming into this week but Spirit wants to talk about you know um, this unfruitful harvest, the closing door and saying you know this energy, it's time for it to um, leave your life and 
you know, those of you where you feel shortchanged or you got burned, there's also a lesson in that. And I'm not saying you did anything wrong. You, you don't have to do anything wrong to gain knowledge, to gain experience. And that's what spirit wants you to know is through this situation, whatever this major letdown was for you, it was a deep, deep learning experience for each and every one of you for different reasons, bringing different knowledge and growth and evolution for each of you. And Spirit is saying this energy, the door is now closing on that. There's something else that's going to come in. So it's, um, you, things didn't happen the way you had hoped. Um, despite your best efforts, it just didn't pan out. Somebody really burned you or let you down. So let's pull some tarot and see how this energy how you progress out of that energy through this week oh yeah look at that you got the three of swords so this was a big big heartbreak for you guys but look at that, Gemini. The sun is coming out. There is healing coming in. There is answers. There is a new door opening. And look at that. You got the moon. You got the sun and the moon. Okay. And you got this lunar eclipse energy. Oh, no. We just had um, the lunar eclipse in your sign on November 30th. Okay. Look at I'm knocking everything down. That is so symbolic of what I feel you guys just experienced in your life, like the ball dropping, things falling apart, okay, um, because you have this three of swords, and um, here with this lunar eclipse moon energy, and then the sun and the moon, I do feel that uh, full moon e uh, lunar eclipse we had in your sign on the 30th of November did bring up a lot of shadow energy for you guys, those of you that are resonating with this, okay, it brought up a lot of shadow energy, which created um, different situations. Some of you maybe felt like tower moments. Some of you, um, major truth, which brought forth heavy disillusionment. And it was a lot. It was a heavy. It was a lot for you guys to handle and for you to take. And Spirit saying the door is closing on this shadow energy. It, it's now being released from you. It's been addressed you are aware of it it's no longer in hiding it's no longer in secret everything's out on the table you see things for truly what they are the way they are with that sun there there's nothing hidden from you any longer and in that knowing that's how you're able to finally start moving forward and leave this behind because you finally know the truth gemini you see things absolutely 1000% for what they are, whether it's a situation or um, a relationship or a person, all right? You saw the truth and it, it hurt real bad, but Spirit's saying, don't let that get you downhearted. You needed to see that truth. You don't need that deception, that dishonesty, those lies, that shadow energy looming around you. You don't need that in your life. That's why it was time to see the truth of it. And it, it, the door is now closing on that. And you're coming into beautiful healing, full illumination and understanding and deep healing into the emotional body with that moon. Because with the three of swords and the moon, whatever this was for you guys, it really cut you deep. It hurt you all the way to your core it's almost like the truth was more than you could take um you know seeing things for what they are for a person for truly who they are it was just a lot and you know gemini sometimes you know people have to really hurt us for a relationship to end because <clears throat> if you really, you know, love somebody and your energy is very connected into them, you're most likely going to try to work at the relationship, the connection, you know, and work through difficulties and hard times. But when that energy of that person in you is very out of alignment and their intention is not the same as you, they're 
continually hurt you over and over and sometimes they need to cut you deep so that you can sever so that you can let go and you can come into the truth of things and see them for truly who and what they are and um you know i used to think that about my ex that i was with for 10 years <clears throat> when we broke up it was like if he didn't break up with me I don't think um, I would have ever left him. And now, you know, eight years on, I'm like, I'm really happy he did that. He did what I couldn't do. And so for some of you, I feel like that's the case here is like somebody really hurt you or let you down hard because you would have never walked away, but you deserve so much better than this um, family member, this friend, or this romantic person, okay? You deserve so much better than that. And so there had to be a period of disillusionment or pain for you to disconnect so you could see the shadow, you could see the truth, you could see what's been hidden from you, all right? And now that's happened and it's time to come into the healing and the full understanding of all of this. So you're going to feel much better by the end of the week than when you started the week just of whatever happened leading into this week all right so those are your messages gemini i am sending you lots of love and light take care Hello, Cancer. How are you? Let's see what this week has in store for all of you. All right, so we've got blessed moon energy, full moon magic. So, uh, Cancer, this is a good week for you guys. Things are happening for you. Some of you, um, there's a beautiful, unexpected blessing coming your way. Some of you, this is like the universe just aligning things perfect and right for you. Some of you experiencing some magic, some unexpected magic and unexpected manifestation. Uh, some of you, this is definitely like an unexpected Christmas bonus or getting... Um, a bigger Christmas bonus than anticipated. All right. So let's uh, pull some tarot and go deeper. Yay, Cancer. Very positive. I like to see that. Feeling blessed this week. Feeling good. Feeling happy. Feeling joyful. Yeah, you got the Empress. That's abundance right there. Fertility, happiness, unexpected surprise with the tower. And oh my gosh, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. All right, Cancer. For those of you where this reading is going to resonate, yes, yes, probably the best reading. Um, Aries had a really good read too, so if you're in Aries moon or Aries rising, maybe check that out as well, but who Cancer. Yeah, here's a, a manifestation, full moon magic, something coming in very unexpectedly. It could be... Um, like an unexpected bonus from your boss, um, an unexpected raise from your boss, an unexpected um, gift from a family member, okay? But this would be like somebody's giving you a nice um, chunk of money, like, or a big ticket item here. This, I mean, with the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles, this is not like pennies, Cancer. No, this is a big, beautiful gift of abundance somehow some way for some of you it's coming from this empress all right for for others of you this empress is a representation of how you're feeling about this blessing coming in it is very very unexpected and some of you this may be where something happens and it's like oh my gosh that sucks so bad but because that thing happened, it actually turns out better and you're going to get more than you would have before. Okay, so any kink, don't fret about it. It's actually going to work out in your favor um, much, much better. Okay, this week, 
Cancer, you are blessed by the universe, um, by a boss, by a family member, and I, I just don't think you see it coming at all. Um, it's like out of left field, and you are filled with gratitude and happiness, feeling good, feeling joyful, having um, a good holiday, okay? Maybe some of you are really afraid. Um, some of you could have an unexpected family member. Um, if you have, you know, people in the military, like overseas, you could have an unexpected Christmas return, okay? Um, some of you could have an unexpected family member show up, like it was like, no, I can't make it, I can't make it, this, that, and the other, and last minute they show up. It's however this blessing comes to you, it's a surprise, and it, it puts you over the moon, Cancer. You're happy. So this week, you guys are blessed. You're doing good. You're looking good. You're feeling good. So those are your messages, Cancer. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. <clears throat> Hello, Leo. How are you? Let's see what your week has in store. All right, ooh, we got Taurus moon energy and abundance, nice. So uh, much like Cancers, you are being blessed this week, Leo. You're feeling good. You could be getting an unexpected um, raise, unexpected bonus, um, a gift from somebody that's very nice, like a nice watch. I just saw a nice, um, big, beautiful gold watch um, for some of you, or that could just talk about um, like the, the materialization, the fanciness, um, the bling of um, this abundance, this gift that is being offered to Leo this week. It's like something fancy and golden and desired and wanted. So let's, uh, it's luxury, Leo. It, it's definitely luxury because Taurus is ruled by Venus, and that is about luxury and indulgence and feeling good, um, eating good, feeling good, enjoying this week, feeling blessed, um, receiving a lot of, yeah, look at as I'm saying that, the star fly flew out. Leo, there's something special happening for you guys this week, for those of you this reading will resonate for, something very special, so some tarot here all right this oh, look at what jumped out happy family holiday gatherings coming together eight of pentacles um finally receiving major reward from working hard five of swords and some of you um you've had to fight for what you're finally receiving this week okay um, you could have been fighting with an employer, like, I deserve this, I deserve that, and it's been a battle, and this week, it's like, you finally win, Leo, um, some of you have been working very, very hard at your job, and now this week, um, it's like some bonus or, uh, pay raise, or maybe some of you, you've been without a job, and this week, you know, you weren't expecting it, but here comes the offer, all right? It's just with abundance and the Ten of Pentacles, um, this is luxury, this is increase in money, but it's from your, you know, your hard work, your energy, your efforts. Um, it really feels strongly coming from like a business or an investment um, maybe that you have put some money into in the past but it's coming to you, or this could be somebody in your family, um, just because you've been working so hard and, and trying so hard, gifting you is something, you know, with some big ticket item, or um, a big gift of money. Now, those of you that are receiving any sort of like Christmas bonus or raise at work, or a big ticket item, or a large sum of money from like, um, you know, family member or from your job, don't talk about it, like, because I feel what you're getting, Leo, not everybody's going to get that, okay? So in the workplace, like, maybe everybody gets a bonus, 
but yours is actually more than theirs. All right, so be very, very discreet. Or if it's a family member giving you like money or some big ticket item, don't tell other family members, like don't post it on Facebook, don't tell your friends because it's like what's coming to you could cause some jealousy um, of, of, around you, like friends, family member, coworkers, okay? So it's what's coming to you not everybody's getting um, or not getting as much as you. So just keep that in perspective. But Spirit wants you to know, regardless of how this abundance comes your way this week, you have earned it. You deserve it. And so don't feel bad. You know, <clears throat> it's always good to share and um, donate and things like that. But Spirit wants you to know that you deserve this. So don't feel bad for other people who aren't getting as much as you. You know, you can donate. You can, um, you know, share, you know, absolutely do that. But don't feel guilty that you have this blessing and maybe others don't. Um, you know, just share what you have, what you can spare. And, you know, feel good in that, that when you're blessed, you're willing to share that blessing with others, you know, and that's a beautiful blessing in itself, okay? Because I just um, feel like some of you, this is a big deal and you're like, I know so many people who are struggling or who deserve this more than me or who could use this more than me and you might have a sense of like feeling bad and spirits like don't feel bad what's coming to you this blessing you 100 percent deserve leo and you know if it's a big monetary gift um you know absolutely share it if you can but if you have like a lot of bills that you've got to pay and things like that or you haven't splurged or bought yourself anything in quite a while treat yourself first you deserve that okay but if it's just a big um increase in abundance and everything's well in your world then absolutely you know share that and and donate if you can um but don't feel guilty for the blessing that's coming to you because you have earned that leo and spirit wants you to know that but this week you are blessed leo and you are happy and you are definitely enjoying time with the family as well. So those are your messages, Leo. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello, Virgo. Uh, how are all of you guys doing? I wanted to tell you guys I have not forgotten your 2021 forecast. I've just been moving and I um, was unable to get them completed before I had to um, start my drive and all of that. So those will be coming next, just so you know. But let's see what is happening for all the Virgos this week. Okay, we've got Lunar Eclipse Moon Energy with no promises all right so let's uh let's pull another card about that virgo is this virgo not making promises or is this virgo needing to be skeptical of the promises of others okay so we've got progress Okay, so that puts things in a bit more of a of perspective for me, Virgo. Okay, so this week, um, you're making some progress. This could be, you know, something you're working on in your personal life. This could be a project at work. This could be a relationship with somebody, okay? Um, it, it just feel whatever this is, if very delicate, okay? Um, you've got to kind of handle everything with kid gloves and, you know, um, don't ask somebody to give you any sort of solid commitment or answer about things this week because I don't feel that, like, they're in the right mental or emotional place to answer that and feel good about their answer or um, there's just like their energy's a bit scattered, there's things going on and so Spirit's saying 
Don't ask for a commitment or a solid answer this week. Go with the flow of things because that will be where the progress is going to be made. Okay, so this week it's like go with the flow and also with you. Um, you know, you could be interested in, in something, but you're like, man, I, I just, I don't know if I can or if I can do this long term. Don't make any um, solid commitments or promises this week either, okay? Don't ask um, anybody for them and don't offer them because there's going to be something that shifts and changes here which is going to like kind of put you on a different path all right but um, it's not a bad thing like progress is being made so let's pull some tarot it's like if you just let things happen they'll happen um a, a watched pot never boils right so this is where okay what do we have the king of wands and the eight of cups so yeah this is letting me know virgo this is a week of acceptance and not making promises and not asking anybody to make any promises to you let things be as they are and a great progress will be made because there will be no obstruction of the energy flow within you within um, the person within a situation okay so let's see what other tarot cards come out so yeah look at that we got the magician there's magic there's energy behind the scenes at play will work out in your favor with this empress virgo and the hanged man but this is saying if you try to rush yourself or you try to rush the process or you try to rush somebody else or um you know demand a commitment or somebody to try and get a commitment from you it will screw things up this is truly like have no expectation and just go with the flow and see how things pan out because there's a lot of magic here um, with this magician next to this empress there's so much potential and possibility but um, getting caught up in our head or um, demanding like I've got to have a solid firm answer like that will screw things up because the hanged man is about sacrifice right as well as blocked energy and coming into a new perspective it's also about sacrifice and so I feel the sacrifice um, for you is where you've got to just go with the flow and that's really hard to do sometimes right um, just depending on how this resonates for you personally that can be very very hard to do and spirit is saying just trust just go Go with the flow. Get out of your head about things. Um, don't overanalyze. Don't try to figure it all out right now. Don't commit yourself. Don't ask anybody to commit to you um, for a project, for anything. You know, this will resonate differently for all of you. Um, just go with the flow and watch how this plays out for you. You got three major arcana, Virgo. So it's like what's meant for you. It's going to find you. It's going to align for you. It's going to happen for you. But this week is a week of major, major trust. And that feels like a huge sacrifice for you. It's like, oh, I don't know. And Spirit's like, Virgo, just trust me. Just go with the flow. Stay out of your head. One foot in front of the other. Just keep moving forward, moving forward. Don't push um don't push against and don't um you know get stubborn and and dig your heels in really feel the vibes out around you and it's going to lead you perfectly and a lot of progress is going to be made by the end of the week that you didn't expect that you didn't anticipate okay so no matter what don't get caught up in your head virgo and trust spirit just keep moving forward and trust it's going in your favor it truly truly is in big beautiful ways with the empress sitting there magic all around you but don't get in your own way with that hanged man okay so those are your messages for this week virgo i am sending you guys lots of love and light take care
Hello Libra, how are you guys? Let's see what this week has in store and I want you to know I have not um, forgotten your 2021 forecast. I just, uh, I was moving and I just, I uh, those will come out next, okay? So as I was shuffling, we've got some Leo Moon energy with romance coming through. So, um, for those of you where this is not going to be about romance, what this is telling me, Libra, is this week you are very creative. Um, you are being led by your heart space in all things that you're doing, okay? Whether it's your job, um, you know, being around family, celebrating the holidays, you're just very much in your heart space this whole week connected into Mother Earth Gaia, connected in to everybody around you, and you're just um, giving off such a warm, beautiful, loving vibe. You're bringing joy and happiness to people, Libra, this week just by being around you because your spirits are going to be very elevated. You are so in your heart space, and some of you, I'm feeling you absolutely love this time of year, and you're like, I wait all year for this this week and here it is and you're on cloud nine and you're spreading joy and happiness and love and you're just in your heart space in whatever you are doing this week Libra and for others of you there is a huge focus on romance this week okay so um, those of you who are committed this could be something really special that's going to transpire between you and your partner this week um, those of you who have just been kind of dating somebody this could be where we're really falling in love and um, maybe deciding to uh, go to the next level for whatever that means and some of you may meet a new romantic uh, interest this week somehow some way so let's pull some tarot all right and we had a tarot card jump out there so let's see which card that was okay so we've got the five of cups good Libra, I'm glad to see you are coming out of this Five of Cups. You are happy. You are being healed. Um, Page of Swords. This could be some of you in these uh, partnerships. You and your partner were fighting and bickering. And this week, we're finally getting over that. Now we have the world. Okay. So, sadness, fighting, arguing, that is a thing of the past, Libra. This week, your heart is happy. There's healing. Some of you, there's healing in romances. There's healing in family situations. There's healing in friendships, okay? We're coming to the end, the completion with the world. Um, some of you, this could be where you didn't think um, a certain person you were hoping to see for the holidays was um, going to be able to come see you or you're going to be able to go see them and it's actually working out that yes you guys will be able to see each other which brings you so much happiness and joy all right um but it just in general libra those of you who have been kind of feeling down um feeling lonely you're snapping out of that you're done with that energy you're completing that this week and you're coming into your heart space and you're feeling good, you're feeling joyous, you're feeling excited, you're feeling passionate about yourself, about life, about what's next. Some of you absolutely see a new connection coming in this week and this person, you guys are going to have a very long journey with each other. Okay, it starts out brand new in this page just through a, a conversation. Okay, you might be at the store or um, out um, at a dog park and you guys just start talking randomly and it's leading to a, a, a very long connection whether romantically or friend wise and this connection brings um, you out of this place of sadness okay 
Um, I do see Libra, some of you did have a falling out with somebody, whether that's romance, friend, or family, like you had a falling out, a severing, an argument. And this week you guys are going to um, work it out. You're gonna talk about it. You're gonna heal, you're gonna move beyond it. It's like, we're done with that. We're done with the Five of Cups and we're moving on in our heart spaces um, with each other, okay? And um, those of you where this is uh, somebody that you are um, gonna be healing with, where we've had a fight or a falling out, if we outrightly separated, we've you know been watching each other or they've still been keeping an eye on you, Libra. All right, um, but also with this, Spirit wants you to know they're sad the way that you've been sad. They've felt it in their heart as well. So um, anybody coming back into your world this week, it is time for healing with um, this Leo moon energy and the world. Like, let's put this behind us and let's move forward. Any new connection, you know, romantic or friend, uh, long journey, a lot of potential. And um, I also see the message here of where people are sad, people are hurting. Libra, your energy, you are bringing them joy and happiness with just you being you. I see uh, many Libras like um, sharing their energy, their time, their resources this week. And Spirit wants you to know like you're making the world a happier place, a better place because you're lifting this Five of Cups, this Page of Swords energy out of people's life through what you're giving, through what you're doing, through what you're being for others. All right, so um, several different messages for Libras coming through, um, but those of you where you're just in your heart space, Spirit wants you to know that what you do matters a lot. The smiles you give, taking the time just to say to somebody, hey, how are you doing today? You know, um, a total stranger, you're, you're passing on the street or you're in the grocery store, you know, whatever, how are you today? It, it means a lot, all right? And Spirit wants you to know that. Don't think that it, it's meaningless. You do bring a lot of happiness and joy to this world. You're, you're doing good, okay? So those are your messages, Libra. I'm sending you guys a lots of love and light. Take care. <clears throat> Hello, Scorpio. How are you? I want you guys to know that I will be posting your 2021 forecast. I have not forgotten. I was just moving and um, I'm finally settled in. So I will finish those up and get those posted next. So let's see what's happening for you this week, Scorpio. Okay, so we got Aries, moon energy, and new beginnings. Nice. So it's like the um, Zodiac New Year and uh, 2021 New Year is starting a little early for Scorpios with that Aries, moon energy coming through and new beginnings. Um, something is coming into your life this week, Scorpio, that is brand new. It could be a new connection a new job, um, a new energy, a new activity, a new change. It's gonna be different for all of you, but this is starting you on a path that you're gonna be on for a while, okay? And with new beginnings, this could also be for some Scorpios where you and somebody um, who have been on the outs are gonna finally heal, talk, work things out, and come into a new beginning, okay? Some of you, maybe this week, it's like you're uh, moving into a new house. Maybe some of you are moving to a new state, a new country. Maybe um, you're starting a new job, okay? It's just that uh, the new could be anything in a general read, but that's what Spirit wants to talk about for Scorpio is the new energy, the new vibes, the new beginnings happening this week. Right, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles. Five of 
Five of Wands. The Empress. All right. So I do feel very strongly for most Scorpios, this is probably going to talk about um, a new beginning with the person that you've had a falling out with, okay? Um, and maybe a couple of people like a friend, a family member, or a friend and a romantic partner or um, a co-worker, a family member or a friend, all right? So some of you, this is one person and for others of you, it could be multiple people, all right? But here we have this Knight of Pentacles coming in, offering an apology, offering a truce, wanting a new beginning, wanting to make things better from this five of wands, from the arguing, the disagreeing, the conflict, okay? Like, hey, I'm sorry, let's work this out. And it's very blessed, all right? Anybody that you're making up with this week, Scorpio, it's very, very blessed. And, um, you know, some of you might have been like, I will never forgive this person, screw them, um, but this week, you know, here they are and you guys are going to work it out. And I feel that's stronger for like a family member and maybe a friend. I, I don't feel that's for romance at all. Um, it's just, if this is a friend, it would be like a very, very long term, long standing relationship, or it's a family member and you guys had a falling out or we've been bickering, we've been arguing and you've been like, never again, I'm done with them. And then this week, it's like the universe is aligning the two of you back together because it is time for a truce. It is time to talk things out because you guys have a lot of beautiful energy that is uh, still between you. And there's a lot of potential to move forward. There's a lot of love. There's roots. This is like family energy, you and this person. Okay, um, if this is a romance, this to me would be more where this is your like spouse or live-in partner or very long-term partner and you guys have just been fighting and bickering um, about the same old things and finally it's like this week um, we're turning over a new leaf and it's going to work and it, it's going to stick. Okay, I do see for some of you this is a relocation um, where you're moving to like a, a new home or starting like a brand new job and you might be a little conflicted about it within it's going to be um i don't even feel like that's slow moving what i feel with this knight of pentacles and the empress is saying like um you have a lot of growth and potential in this new um location that you want to live or this new job that you are about to start. There's a lot of potential. And at first you're like a little conflicted, like was this the right move or is this the right thing? And Spirit is saying, yes, Scorpio, absolutely. It is the right thing for you. This is a wonderful, fresh start, new beginning for you, um, whatever's being offered here. So don't hold back out of fear. Um, that's your path. Like what's being offered this week, that's your path. Who's coming back? into your life this week it's time to heal and um you know let bygones be bygones and um those of you who have just been like really arguing and bickering with somebody important in your life you guys are resolving that and finally moving on from it this week all right so those are your messages scorpio i am sending you guys lots of love and light take care Hello Sagittarius, how are you? Let's see what's happening. And I hope all of you that had birthdays last week had wonderful birthdays. I missed last week's weekly because I was moving. So I hope you all had wonderful birthdays that we're celebrating. Okay, let's see what is happening this week for you guys. Ooh, we got full moon energy at Super Moon Magic. So you're blessed this week, Sagittarius. Some of you could be receiving some awesome gifts, some unexpected uh, gifts of money, maybe unexpected um, Christmas bonus. Things are going to work out better than you thought, all right? So if you've been a bit worried, there's a little magic uh, popping off this week, which just makes everything feel okay like everything's gonna be just fine so let's pull you some tarot oh 
Oh yeah, look at first card out, Ten of Pentacles. All is well in the family, a lot of happiness in the family, unexpected Christmas bonus, unexpected raise, um, maybe some of you an unemployment getting approved here, um, some of you, somebody in the family giving you a gift of money or a large ticket item that you weren't uh, expecting. Yeah, and you got justice coming through and you've got temperance. Okay, um, so Sagittarius, anything that has to do with like legal issues, um, you know, it could be about money, it could be about a settlement, it could be about estate, um, assets, or just anything legal is going in your favor, okay? It's going to work out. It's, it's not going to be uh, as bad as you think, okay? So maybe you got like a speeding ticket or, or something like that and you're freaking out about the cost. It's like whatever the outcome of this is, is so much better than you anticipated and you can finally like relax and breathe. And um, just because we have justice with the Ten of Pentacles, some of you, this could be some legal matters. And this is like, you know, um, not big crazy stuff. I mean, this is just a general tarot reading. This is more um like you were worried but things are going to actually go in your favor okay so don't stress about that and then for others of you i do see where it's like somebody is coming in and giving you a big ticket item very unexpectedly or um there's this money coming to you that you did not anticipate and it it, it makes you feel like okay everything's going to be fine i'm going to be okay you were worrying about something coming into this week and the way this week unfolds and what is offered to two Sagittarius makes you feel pretty okay and blessed by the end and giving praise and gratitude to the universe for the way everything just happened to work out for you this week or work out for somebody in your family, okay? Um, and temperance is the representation of you in the tarot. So that coming out just lets me know that you are at ease, you are in peace, you are in harmony, you are in flow by week's end because of what has come to you or the legal decision that was decided. And you're like, wow, magic. Um, I'm lucky. That was good juju. That was good karma. I'm blessed. Like, that's how you're feeling. So don't fear Sagittarius. All is well. Big, beautiful blessing coming your way this week. So those are your messages. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care.